Welcome to the Revit API with C Sharp, creating uh, shared parameters. So I have a shared parameter file here. Um, here's the file path, um, and the group which I want to work with will be a, the Dynamo add it and add-ins, and I want to get this group one. Um, and what I want to do is I want to get the shared parameter, um, and I want to go ahead and assign it uh, here to this uh, group parameter text and I want to put it under the, uh, or bind it with the wall. Um, so what will happen, it'll, it'll come here, it'll bind with the wall and appear in that little text um, grouping. So this is my command, and I've already kind of created a, a class here and called it under um, my command .cs file. So with that said, here I'll go ahead and start with an empty class uh, called sample create shared parameter. The first method I'll generate is um, public void create sample shared parameter, and I'll go ahead and send in the document and the application. So I want to get the category which I want to bind it to uh, first. So here I'll just get a category. Just go ahead and name that category. Uh, and then I'll get the document uh, settings category, and then I'll get the item. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and send in the um, built-in uh, category, which I want to uh, bind it with the wall. So he'll, here's the built-in category dot OST walls. Um, and then I want to create a set. So if you have, if you want to bind it to multiple categories, you can always bind it to additional categories. So here's just a category set and I'll just hit, hit the application category dot new, um, new category set. Uh, category set and then I'll just insert it here so so I'll just take that and copy it there it looks like I put uh, so I have to do a new um, category set yeah I want to hold on to the um, original file path which might be project specific um, so what I'll do is I'll send it into a string or original file path and from the application shared parameter file I'll just send that in um, and what I want to do is to send a temporary one, which might be my um, standard uh, company's you know, shared parameter. So here I'll go ahead and send it in and temporarily override it. So I'll put this all in a try uh, catch block. Um, that way we'll fail more gracefully. So from application shared parameter file, I want to reassign the location to my temporary one. And I'll go ahead and send my definition uh, from the shared parameter file uh, and I'll go ahead and open it so from the application open shared parameter file um, and then what I want to do is I want to loop over this so for each one of the uh, definitions um, there are definition groups so here it will be the groups that I'm working with in my shared parameter file dot here we go um, shared parameter File dot groups. Um, I'm going to iterate over them, and what I'm looking for is um, my Dynamo um, and add-in uh, group. So here I'll do if um, the um, definition group dot name equals Dynamo and add-in. Um, if it does, then we'll go into this next block of code here. And what I'll do is I want to get the external definition. I'll go ahead and just label that external definition. And then I want to get the um, definition group. Um, and the definitions, I want to get the name of the group one. And I'm gonna go ahead and cast it as a de an external definition. Um, that way I can get that group one in there. Um, so I'll go ahead and use a using uh, transaction equals new using and here I'll get the document that I'm working with and I'll go ahead and start my transaction. And I'll just go ahead and put in here what I'm actually doing which is creating or adding a shared parameter
So I want to bind this parameter to um, to the categories which I have or category sets. So what I'll do is do an instance binding. So this will be my new bind instance binding of the application create new instance binding and then this was where I will send in my whole category set. Um, that way I can do multiple uh, bindings. Um, and then what I'll do is a parameter um, group. Uh, so from the document parameter bindings, I'll go ahead and just insert um, the external definition which I got, which is my group one, my binding uh, set. And then I'll go ahead and send the grouping which I want, which I want to be in the text, um, and this will be in the built-in uh, parameter group dot pg text, and this is always available to be looked up on the Revit um, documents. So once I've finished that, I'll go ahead and do the commit, um, and then I'll do a catch block uh, in case it didn't go through or the parameter was already there or something. We can always tell the user that um, it was there. So the very last thing, which will just be a final block, will be to um, put the application shared parameter file name back to the original one. That way, if your project standards um, are still using it, some the next person who wants to um, add a shared parameter won't have to look at where you have your, um, your project specific standard shared parameters. So here we'll just launch um, Revit 2018 uh, I didn't sign this, but I'll just go ahead and allow it um, to go through. So here I'll go ahead and just launch the project I have. Um, go to my 3D view here. So here's the wall. Um, and we'll go ahead and get my uh, button. Um, and then go ahead and add that group right there. So it's that quick, that easy. Um, Anyways, for more Revit API videos, please subscribe, uh, and thanks again.